A handoff. Devontae Freeman. And he works it to the 30-yard line here right at the 30. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This for the lead in the final stages. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Uh, now then, it's a big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth. But, Charles, there is still time left for a final drive. Brandon, you know they would have liked to take the clock down just a little bit further, at least under a minute or so. But this was not over yet, especially since they just need a field goal. Bryant now, after hitting the field goal, gets set to kick this one away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Bears offense led by Mitch Trubisky heading back out there. And this is a spot where you can learn a lot about a young quarterback. And that's why they brought him into the organization. Because you don't just bring them in strictly for their talents. If you think that they have that something special in them that will allow them to function in these types of situations. Now's time for them to be clinical and not emotional. You know your play sequence. You know what has to get done. Get the ball to the right people. Get out of bounds and get it downfield and try and score. And he's trying to earn his stripes here for a winning drive. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got a catch in that spot. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Strong left. Strong left. Strong left. Let's go. Move it. He's back to throw. He leaves this one for Howard. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And he did exactly what they needed him to do. Charles got out of bounds. They have no timeouts. And they knew that before the play even began. Still executed it. How many times have we seen it happen where you know it, yet a guy's still looking for a timeout or trying to stay in bounds? He got it done. They'll look to throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. He was looking for Jordan Howard that time. And that'll bring up second down. So he's unable to complete it there. And just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Completion left side to Miller. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And he spikes it here with 35 seconds left. his way forward here for a good little game. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. He'll look to throw. And he locates Wheaton complete. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. And now a timeout defensively by the Falcons. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And Barth puts it through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. And I 
tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on, someone who you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. seconds to go and now how do you play it offensively we'll find out <laughs> offense comes to the line now first and ten chance to possibly send this one to OT. On the NFL scoreboard, they've gone to the fourth in Cincinnati. And the Ravens now really pouring it on. A win would be their first of the young season. So it's all up to the other Matty Ice. Matt Bryant now. The clock showing just one tick. This for the win. And it's good! And on opening weekend, a field goal to win it as time expires. And the Falcons are going to win the game. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the fly over the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day, opening game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while. Opening game here, an entire season. We get into the playoffs, to the Super Bowl. I was really excited. I could barely sleep last night. I can't imagine being a player. So for the Falcons, a win's a win as they eke out the two-point victory to take the season opener. And they'll return home next week to take on the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the Bears, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that.